Hey guys, Johnny here. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today I wanted to take you through uh, some different simulators that I've tried to try to hone my skills. Um, obviously it wasn't going to be possible for me to, you know, get all of my experience through flying outdoors. I wanted to make sure I could find a simulator on a computer that worked pretty well for me. Um, hopefully that would improve my skills so when I go outside I'm not constantly crashing my quads. Um, I've tried a few different simulators and I want to show you kind of you know what it looks for me flying it give you my opinion of each one and ultimately answer the question how realistic are these flight simulators so the first simulator that we're watching here is called liftoff um, this is the first simulator I ever tried um, I basically picked it up because I have a steam account and it was just so easy to install with steam um, I think it cost $15 that seemed reasonable for me at the time um, I was first using a DX6i with this and it was really easy to set up so that worked really well. Um, at the time when I first started using this I thought man I'm really in trouble. I, this is really really difficult um, and I didn't really understand why at first um, but later on when I started going to some other simulators it started to make a little bit more sense to me. The, the feeling in liftoff I would say is probably the worst feeling of any flying um, of a of a quadcopter sim for me. Um, the feel that I have while flying is just, it feels very, very floaty. It doesn't feel like the real quads do. Um, it's still the same mechanics. It's still, you know, the same left stick, right stick that I'm used to flying outside. Um, so my brain was getting used to what those sticks do, but it just, it didn't feel right. And I didn't play it a whole lot just because it didn't feel right. Um, I was able to get proficient. You can see here, you know, it's not really a good run through the gates, but it works. Um, on the plus side, though, because it was so floaty, if I wanted to go out and pretend like I was, you know, Mr. Steel, I was able to, you know, do acrobatics pretty easily. The next simulator I tried was called FPV Event, and that's what you're seeing here. Um, this one's a whole lot of fun. Uh, it costs quite a bit of money. I think it was $50 I paid for this one. Um, but the reason why I bought it is because everything I was reading was saying this was the most accurate flying simulator out there. And since I want to practice my skills and hone my skills on flying actual quads, I figured the more realistic, the more it's going to help me learn to fly. And that's how I got this one. Um, I haven't played a ton of maps. This was, I think, the first one I tried. It's a, it's a real course in London. Um, and it was a lot of fun to do, and I felt like I was going really fast. Uh, you can see I crashed there. Um, this other map, I absolutely love this map in the garage. Um, I like any map that deals with multiple levels. I like here we went out one level of the window, came in through the other level, um, and it's a lot of fun. It feels a little bit better. It doesn't feel as floaty. It feels more realistic to me. I wouldn't say it's super realistic, uh, but I'd say at least better than liftoff. Uh, the other thing I notice is I'm doing things in this simulator that I don't think I could really do in real life, um, but then again, maybe it's just that if I had enough courage to try to actually fly like this in a, in a car park, maybe it would be possible. I don't know. Um, but the realism, you know, it's closer, but it's still a little flawed. But I definitely enjoy playing this one. This one's a whole lot of fun. I definitely like it. Um, I really don't use liftoff anymore. This is way, way better for me. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I really enjoy this one. I'll probably keep using it. $50 is a bit expensive. Um, there's definitely cheaper options, which help with kind of realism. So regarding other options, you see here that I'm playing uh, FPV Freerider. And to me, I think this one actually felt like it was the most realistic of the simulators. Um, I definitely wasn't as proficient flying with this one as I was um, with FPV Event. I couldn't go quite as fast and cut through as many different corners. But it felt like I was getting probably the best practice of the simulators in here. So I was actually really glad that I picked this up. You know, I make a lot of the sloppy mistakes flying in this simulator than I do in real life and that just helped me realize this is probably reasonably realistic so I, I definitely like this one if I were to, if someone was saying I want to learn uh, what simulator would you recommend to help me learn how to fly a quad I think I'd probably choose this one um, there's also some free options I'd say to try again but this is probably the number one recommendation I would make Alright, and that brings me to the DRL Simulator. Now this is the last one that I tried, 
And honestly, this is the one I find to be the most enjoyable. Um, the realism side with crashes and bumping into things is not quite right. It's extremely forgiving, um, which I actually don't like, but it's a whole lot of fun. You know, I think the DRL really set the bar when it comes to course design. It's just a whole different dynamic than I've seen in other, you know, race courses. And that just makes this game so much fun. Um, so you can see here, you know, it's flying through one of the real tracks inside of a mall. It's doing going up and down through uh, gates, something that I wasn't doing anywhere else. I just really enjoy playing the simulator. Um, and it's free, which just blows my mind. Um, the graphics are fantastic. It's a whole lot of fun. You just have to give it a shot. Um, here you can see I'm doing the, I think it's the LA Apocalypse map. It's just tight corners going up here, up the escalator. Just the dynamics of the maps is what makes this so much fun for me. Um, ever since I got this, even though it's the most recent one I got, I don't really play anything else too often. This is definitely what I play the most of these days. And, you know, even though I'm playing this for the most, I'd say that all the simulators, they definitely help me with my understanding of the mechanics. Each of them differs in realism a bit. I feel like, you know, FPV event is probably second behind Freerider, and then I probably have the DRL simulator just behind that. Um, they're pretty close, but you're just not going to be perfect in a simulator. Which brings me to one of my favorite parts of the DRL simulator. And that's that you don't just have to do races, you can do these free world um, freestyle runs. And doing the Gates of Hell map is absolutely massive. You can go over to the mountains, under the mountains, fly through the bridge. They have this little fake city you can fly next to on the side. I really enjoy going over by the city. You know, pretending I'm one of the Rotorac guys almost and trying to dive buildings. Um, it's just a whole lot of fun. I feel like it's helped me kind of understand better how to do proper power loops, whether I'm doing them around a tree, like um, kind of like what I did right there, or if I'm trying to do it around the um, power lines or the street signs or whatever it is. It's just, it's a whole lot of fun to go in here and kind of have a simulator to just let you roam free. A lot of the other simulators, you're very contained to a very small spot, and this was just, it was such a relief to be able to go out and just kind of fly wherever I wanted. Um, and getting that in a free package with fantastic graphics, you just can't beat it. Everybody's got to at least give this a shot once. Um, if you want the best as far as, you know, learning how to fly, maybe Freerider's a little bit better, but... This is also a great option. You have to check it out. So ultimately, it's how realistic are these simulators? And it's... They're close. What I would definitely say is, if you're new to the hobby and just getting started, I would recommend getting yourself a transmitter or a real proper transmitter that would last. Um, and hooking up to the simulator and just logging lots of hours in the simulator. Um, that way you're going to be a little bit proficient when you go to fly for real. You'll notice things aren't quite right. It's not quite behaving like the simulator did, but at least your brain's already thinking in the way that you know the FPV drones are. So that's kind of my thought. I really like. I really enjoy these simulators. I'd recommend you guys try them out if you haven't tried it out before. I think it's a great way to get in the hobby. Um, anyway, that pretty much wraps it up. And you know, thanks a lot for watching. Bye, guys.